Recently, I'm scrolling through Twitter and I'm seeing these notifications pop up about AMD announcing a bike. And <laughs> that's right, this is their response to NVIDIA is to just say, hey guys, just go outside. Like, <laughs> stop, stop playing on PC games altogether. We've got the solution for you with a bicycle. And uh, that's our response to NVIDIA. We also have the announcement of an announcement. They're going to talk about these GPUs at the end of October. And this still links into that end of November rumor that we've been hearing about. So September 2020 could easily be described as the month of Jensen so far and the announcement of the RTX 3000 series. The Ampere announcement just rattled through all of the internet and it has really made waves to the point where I'm pretty sure everyone cannot wait to get these results for RTX 3080. But after looking around on Twitter and on YouTube, I, I see that no one's really touching on this topic of the bike. It's almost like people just in 2020, they don't want to touch on AMD. They're like, whoa, AMD, we do not want anything to do with those fanboys out there. They're, they are pretty relentless, I'm gonna say that. So besides the announcements, if you go to AMD's uh, website where they've uh, put on their store a mountain bike, which looks like 26 inch, and it's uh, retailing at $299. And you've got a few different colors, which uh, they look, I gotta say, like, look, they look pretty cool. But when we look closer, because I used to be into BMXs and uh, bikes pretty hardcore, there is something quite a bit wrong with this $299 price tag, in my opinion, to the point where you can get something which, at least on the spec sheet, looks better at $177. So straight away, looking at this bicycle right here, there's a few things that strike out as being not just like mediocre, but actually quite cheap on this bicycle. And that is V-brakes. So you can see them here, They're the, the old school V-brakes, these are very dated nowadays. Most bikes use, at least value bikes, will use uh, disc brakes on both front and rear. And so we can see here that they're using the cheaper brakes. And also when we look up here on the handle, we can see that they've got the uh, quill style stem and most bikes nowadays will have a threadless stem even at 299 bucks so kind of surprising why they've done these two options but if we go through as well more on the bike we can see that they've used twist grip shifters these are very old school as well and then the component and the gearing just looks like it's outdated as well and then if we look closely at the frame we can see here if you've ever worked on bikes before it's kind of got a nickname at least where i'm locally it's called plumber's pipe basically a cheaper grade of steel that's hollow. So this bicycle at 299 bucks is basically looking like, to put it quite simply, uh, garbage. So first of all, why release something to your fans? So it is, this is the amdfanstore.com. Why release something to your fans that is really not worth 299 bucks? I mean, should do a little bit better of a job at least putting in some of the more modern components on this bike to sell to your fans, like your fans of all people, right? People who, it's like me um, selling my subscribers, like not even doing, like overcharging them for PCs that I'd regularly sell on Facebook. I kind of don't get the message there. It's something that I wouldn't do personally. So, I mean, why are you guys doing this to your fans? And I mean, look, I love the message. I love the message. Don't get me wrong. I think we definitely got to focus on your health and try and make a healthier lifestyle. But comes at a little bit of a weird time when uh, the competitor is definitely making strides in terms of what they've announced and the price performance that their new cards are going to be coming in at. And so that leads us to segue into RDNA 2. And what is AMD going to do here? Because all we've got so far really is a heap of rumors. And we've also got in Fortnite 6,000. That's like, I saw some articles on this and I'm like watching it. And I'm like, yeah, obviously their next generation of GPUs is going to have a higher number than the previous generation. Look, I can read some numbers, but I'm really hanging out here for some kind of performance tease or something in how these cards are going to perform. Because all we've got so far is just NVIDIA just completely wiping the floor in the GPU market, where it looks like even Intel, which were going to talk about their GPUs, have suddenly gone all quiet. We've also got the announcement where they're going to talk about Zen 3 CPUs, which is going to be awesome in its own right. But today we're looking at the GPUs where we've got the Radeon GPUs being talked about at the end of October. 
which does give strong credibility towards the end of November launch of the new RDNA 2 GPUs. But as a PC gaming enthusiast, we need something. We need a taste of these new GPUs. NVIDIA is just wiping the floor. And so I'm sitting here like thinking to myself, what is AMD going to do about this? And from all we know right now is that RDNA 2 is coming at the end of November. That's what I've been told. It's coming in late November and apparently board partners haven't even got the cards to make custom coolers yet. So with that said, it looks like it's going to be quite a rushed release, which I hope it isn't because rushed releases mean that you can have potential driver problems. There could be issues with coolers. And if we remember the R9 290 days, those things were getting extremely loud and extremely hot. So when it comes down to it, AMD, sure, there's the arguments of AMD is behind in terms of R&D versus NVIDIA. But at the end of the day, it's still not our problems as individuals. We are just the customers who work hard, make money, and we want to buy stuff to enjoy ourselves in our free time. And if AMD isn't pulling up, just like Intel isn't pulling up in the CPU market, then they're going to fall behind. And it's not up to you guys as consumers to buy the underdog's part because they can't get their shit together. For me personally, I just buy whatever's going to work best for me at the time and I don't look back. I make that decision and I'm happy with it, no regrets. So with AMD at the moment, I think they're in a tough spot. Like sure, they have the console market, but the console market is already starting to get overshadowed by the PC gaming market big time. And that's why I feel NVIDIA did make this big preemptive step with Ampere. I feel like they wanted to take away from all the thunder that was going to come later in the year with consoles. I feel like they've really hit two birds with one stone with this earlier announcement. And so what is going to come through the next year with AMD, it remains to be seen, but it's kind of like NVIDIA always seemed to be one step ahead of AMD in terms of what they're doing in the GPU market. And so I'd really like to see AMD make a comeback, but I just feel at this point in time, their retaliation and how they've responded to NVIDIA does say a lot more than what we're talking about. And that is they haven't really got a response because perhaps they don't really have a counter to the Ampere and the RTX 3000. That's just my thoughts and what I'm seeing at the moment, because if you had something, you would try and at least tease something to at least lure people away who are going to be buying the upcoming RTX 3000 and lure them over to your camp saying, hey, we've got this and it's ready to go and it's going to perform like this. Instead, we're just seeing nothing. So that's what actually worries me is what's not being said as opposed to what's being said in response to Ampere. Anyhow, guys, with all that aside, we got the question of the day here, which comes from Neon Genesis. And they ask, what would happen if you put both DDR3 and DDR4 in at the same time? And they're referring to uh, the video we did on the One and X99 board. And I'm looking at this question. I'm like, I'm curious as well. Let's go quickly do it. So there's the DDR3, there is the DDR4. Let's hit the uh, turn on button, see what happens. Watching the postcode carefully. Well, um, I mean, I'll... okay, so just an error message. That was like really uneventful. I was hoping for like either fireworks or we get some kind of signal. Nope. Hopefully that answers that question. And if you guys are enjoying that content, then be sure to hit that like button. And also if you stayed this far, be sure to smash that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. But also let us know in the comment section below. What do you think about the whole Nvidia versus AMD thing right now? I mean, I've said it in previous videos, I just think the GPU market's getting really exciting now. Hopefully AMD has a big answer for Ampere. But I mean, I just got to call it as it is as, at this point in time. I'm just calling it as it is. So it doesn't look too promising. That's all I'm going to say. Anyhow, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye.